I wanted to go. It looks like this. Yeah, like cars with their profile pictures. Cool stuff, and that's what they all have today. Of course, the, the best is not to write any code and just not reinvent the wheel. Obviously, uh, there is two parts here is a view pager and tab layout. View pager, I'm just gonna use the default Android SDK one and for tabs. I'll use this library, Smart Tab Layout. It's uh, pretty customizable, which is uh, what exactly what I need. And it has uh, out of the box uh, always insertor indicator, which is kind of uh, what I want. I we need a uh, always in start. There isn't one, but. Uh, it's uh, quite similar to always in center. So first uh, part is uh, we don't need any background and just by putting a tab layout outside of the tab bar layout, you don't get any background for it, and. Uh, removing indicator by this uh, attribute thickness is zero all right then we need to snap it always in start and since uh, this library is some package Product uh, dependencies, uh, I had to clone the whole library as a module dependency here. And most of the changes uh, go into this library class smart tab layout and smart tab strip. Here I added one more attribute indicator always at start which I use uh, in my layout here and uh, it behaves almost like always in center core stuff is uh, adding pain to first and the uh, last tab I just add double padding to last tab and some to the first so that you can see half of the previous one over here That's uh, keeping tabs at start. If you don't add this padding, this tab will, uh, they will span across the screen. And since we're using the library, everything is already written. You don't need too much to implement. There is already on page uh, change listener 
with the this method that's what we need position of set and and uh, integer position of page we call it for two tabs current and next one animate scale and translation y fraction goes from 0 to 1 and scale maximum of 1.7 some padding, some margin I set the custom type here list layout default size is 48 and it has some margin to give some room for scaling and translating and of course uh, tab layout overlays view pager is in frame layout view pager has just some margin, top margin. So that's uh, it overlays nicely. Yeah, and uh, still doesn't look that well. But uh, swiping works. Alright. Yeah, and just by cloning the library and making some slight changes, you save lots of hours. You can get a repo here, source code if you want, and thanks for watching. Bye.